Well, the golf port house up for sale as an NFT or non-fungible token is now off the market. Remember this story earlier in the week? Tampa Bay made history yesterday selling it first for the first home in the country using an NFT using cryptocurrency as the payment. I know I spoke a lot of jargon, but I'll try to do our best to explain this. A lot of eyes are watching the auction as the two bidders fought it out over the digital market. Now it is home to an anonymous buyer. Fox 13's Brianna Ardano breaks down how the sale could very well change the future of real estate. This 1951 Gulfport house made history Thursday. It's a uh, first real estate transaction as an NFT in the United States. Pinellas County realtor Amy Heckler listed the house to sell as an NFT or non-fungible token. Two anonymous bidders made offers in the online auction, but one came out on top. The house sold for about 210 Ethereum, a type of cryptocurrency, coming out to $631,000 and some change. Maybe there was a little trepidation among bidders and uh, etc. and because it hadn't been done before. The new owner now gets a physical house instead of something purely digital and the transfer was instant. As real estate transactions may go in this direction, what people might want to look at and which auctions they might want to bid on and why you might want to bid on this one and as opposed to that one based on what type of coins are accepted. The house technically sold under its $650,000 asking price by the time the currency was converted and that's a risk. University of South Florida business professor Balaji Padmanabhan explains. Within hours, the range could have either been 688000 or 630000 Right, so that's a big range, right, within a short period of time. Business experts say the auction was a big moment, but there's still work needed, like ensuring real estate protections for all sales. I think the real estate industry will end up partnering with tech firms to create solutions for the buyer, so that the buyer is just doing what they think is normal. With one down, now it's on to the next. We're looking forward to assisting people in the future to uh, sell or buy property with NFTs and cryptocurrency. Reporting in Pinellas County, Brianna Ordondo, Fox 13 News. Now, business experts say this NFT home sale really marks the beginning of a very interesting future for NFTs and not just in real estate. Realtors say that the next step here is trying to figure out how to keep current protections for properties when working with cryptocurrency on this blockchain.